We are now in October and this is the moment for doing influenza vaccination. So uh, nowadays there are several data supporting the use of influenza vaccination in different periods of life. Uh, we know since several years uh, the utility of influenza vaccination in the elderly, but now the cutoff of the age for the elderly in some countries is going down not to 65 years, but even to uh, 60 or in some cases even to 50. Anyway, what I can uh, uh, highlight is the importance of doing influenza vaccination in the elderly over 65 and then to remember that all the adults who are receiving immunosuppressive agents like for example biological agents or any kind of immunosuppressive drugs and those who are uh, uh, affected by chronic diseases as for example uh, uh, chronic respiratory conditions, cardiac diseases, metabolic diseases including diabetes or any kind of uh, liver or kidney insufficiency should receive uh, influenza vaccine. Uh, this recommendation for those with chronic conditions uh, regards uh, also uh, the children and the adolescents and it is extremely important to remember that those who are at risk of complications because of the underlying disease should receive the vaccine. Um, this is uh, true also for those uh, that have the immune system that works uh, in a, uh, a worse way and uh, uh, it is extremely important to remember that uh, uh, for conditions like neurologic problems again even in those uh, who are affected by epilepsy it is extremely relevant to receive the vaccination. Then uh, an, an interesting category of women for which uh, there is a recommendation for influenza vaccination is represented uh, by uh, pregnant women, uh, for which the recommendation is very strong. Uh, in some countries, regardless of the trimesters of pregnancy, in other countries, in the second and third trimester of pregnancy. And uh, uh, influenza vaccination in pregnant women is useful for the woman because influenza may cause uh, serious conditions during pregnancy, but it is extremely important also for the protection of the infants in the first six months of life when influenza vaccination cannot be administered. And uh, regarding uh, healthcare workers again and other, uh, other jobs like for example uh, policemen or uh, uh, teachers at schools, it is extremely important to remember that uh, uh, these uh, uh, jobs uh, uh, at the end increase the conditions at risk of acquisition of the infection and transmission uh, within uh, the community. So again, uh, these persons should be vaccinated. For children now, there are countries that have extended influenza vaccination to everybody and others that have, have focused to some specific groups. Anyway, almost everywhere, especially scientific societies, support the use of influenza vaccination in the pediatric population. In the first uh, five years of age, so from six months to five years, in order to protect infants from complications and to reduce the uh, antibiotic overuse uh, that uh, could represent an important uh, uh, problem uh, for the society but also for the children with an increase in antibiotic resistance. And finally, in older children, for the role that children have in the transmission of the of influenza within the community. So uh, I uh, encourage all of you to uh, receive the vaccine and to invite your patients uh, uh, to uh, receive the vaccine. Thank you very much.